Hello, my name is Rick Stack. Welcome to my channel. Hope you're having a great day or a great evening, wherever you are. Today we're going to be talking about bending, bending strings. Uh, I'm going to show you a lick that will help you with your bends. Um, I think working on your bends are one of the most important things you can do. Um, you could be shredding up a storm, playing a million notes a minute, um, and if your bends are not uh, good, you know, in, in tune sounding, you'll sound out of tune. <laughs> so uh, vibrato is another huge one that I think, um, you know, uh, some people just could stand to work on a little more. Uh, we'll just we'll just leave it at that. <laughs> so, uh, so the lick we're going to be doing today is um, let's see, it's going to be that. Uh, which later on you can actually uh, tack on to a previous lick I, I showed on one of my videos here. Uh, you could do... So that's, uh, yeah, something you can try uh, doing later if you want. Um, so let's just dive right in. So we're going to go to the 17th fret on the high E string, and we're going to bend that a whole step. So in case you don't know, a whole step is two notes higher. Also, you could say two frets higher. So we're bending this A note, the 17, up to the pitch of this B note. So when you bend, that was probably a little sharp there. <laughs> so you just want to do the best you can. What you want to listen for is if you hear it go like, you know, obviously that's, that's out of tune. So you hit the note, try to hit this note as your uh, goal, your target. Um, a, a good way to do it is to literally play the, the 19th fret here on the first string, this B note, get it in your ear, and then just try to, try to hit that note. <laughs> Uh, I would say it's a process. This is a really important thing too. At first, if you haven't done much with bending, you're gonna probably be out of tune. And that's fine, just uh, keep working on it and you'll get it. So the lick uh, after that, we're just gonna descend two notes. So we're just hitting 16 and then 14 on the first string. So that's the first part. Then we'll go up to the B string here and it's pretty much the same idea. You can bend this note up to this note. So you bend that 17 there up to the pitch of 19. Or you could say it's an E note up to an F sharp note. And then kind of a similar uh, descending thing here. You can hit 15 going to 14 on the second string. So bend. I should say we're bending and releasing, by the way, also. Uh, if, if you were just bending, then you're just, that's it, you're stopping right there. <laughs> so we're releasing the bend, we're going. Feel free to do that if you want. <laughs> so you go bend, and then you hit 15, 14, and then on the uh, second string. So, so far, that is a flat. And then, in a similar way, we're going to hit 16 on the G string here. Bend that a whole step. There's your target note. Uh, a little side note here. So the strings have different tensions. I don't know if you've noticed that yet. Uh, the third, a cool way to do it is take your uh, index finger here on your right hand and actually just kind of pull the string and feel the tension there. And you'll notice that the uh, high E, which is a much smaller string, is actually tighter than the G string, the third string. The third string is looser. So when you're working on your bending, one thing you have to really keep in mind is that depending where you are on which string, the tension is different. So it'll feel different. Like if you really get used to bending on the, on the, the G string, and then you, exert that same amount of pressure on, say, the first string, uh, it, it's probably not going to work. <laughs> so, um, of course, you want to use your ear. That's the most important thing. 
but it's also a physical thing here too. Um, not to digress too much, but if you're down here on the guitar, the tension is so tight coming off of the nut down, the nut down here. So if you like go to this note here, like that's, <laughs> my face probably just turned red from doing that one note. <laughs> so anyway, that's a interesting thing. So depending where you are uh, on the neck, uh, which fret you're at, and then also which string you're at, it's gonna be different amounts of tension. So back to the lick. <laughs> so we're on the 16 on the G string here. And then we're just gonna be hitting 14 on the G. And then we're going to finally hit the 16 on the D. That's an F sharp note. And that's why uh, it kind of fits in with that other lick. So yeah, the whole lick is. And later on, you can, of course, add stuff. Yeah, that's a whole other story there. So yeah, I hope that helped you with your bends. Um, just the main thing is to listen with your ear and then uh, also just try to feel the tension on different strings and different frets. And uh, yeah, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, that would be fantastic. And leave some comments if you want. If you have any ideas for future lessons, I'm happy to entertain the idea. <laughs>